Um, I have no idea what that note is. Um, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm back with another flutiful reaction for you. But is it flutiful or not? We are about to find out. Now, before we start today's reaction, I just want to give a big shout out to Rupert, who suggested this for me to react to. So if you have any other suggestions for things that you might think might be worthy of a reaction, then do leave them in the comments down below and I will see what I can do. So today's track is from the uh, B British prog rock band Barclay James Harvest. The track is called She Said. And let's just have um, a couple of flutiful facts for you on this one. Um, this was from the album Once Again, which was their second album released in early 1971. As was the case with their other early albums, it was recorded with a full orchestra. Um, now, this version today is from a live gig at Veruno on uh, the 5th of the 9th, 2015. So let's get to it. Oh, 
we got there in the end. You might have seen me kind of um, just roll over so I could see how long the video had been playing. Because I was thinking to myself, where's the flute? But anyway, we got there, folks. We got there in the form of a descant recorder, no less. Our old friend, the descant recorder. And this one brings back a few memories for me because the recorder that he's playing on um, was the recorder that I played uh, for most of my time um, during school. It wasn't my first, very first recorder, but it was the one that I played a lot in school. So um, just let me talk a little bit about the music and then I'll talk about the recorder. Um, really nice track. I was enjoying the first section um, and a nice little, little bit of organ in there. And I was just thinking what a really nice blend of sound they've got. Really well engineered, um, especially because this looks like an outdoor gig. I thought the sound was really, really good. Um, and then we got to that little segue into the middle section. I thought, oh, that's really nice. Just the opening chord of that was really gorgeous, really, really ethereal. And then the Descant recorder came in, which I really wasn't expecting. So that was like really cool. Um, and then, well, the recorder itself, the playing of it's really gorgeous. I, right at the beginning, I heard them kind of turn up the reverb a little bit on the recorder. And I'm so glad that they did, because I think just the sound there was really cool. That with the synth, um, just it was perfectly in tune and it just really it was such a gorgeous kind of um, sound. So really enjoyed that. He certainly knows his way around the recorder, um, even into the, the, the middle register, which can be quite tricky for some people. You may have seen a little puzzled look on my face because um, he keeps using this as a fingering. So we've got like the forked fingers. I haven't got a recorder here. I've got my flute here um, like that. And then he's doing the same thing with the right hand. So it's like two sets of forked fingers. Um, I have no idea what that note is. Um, that's a very, that is, that is, um, that's an F on the recorder. No, hang on. That's treble recorder. <sighs> yeah, no, that's right. The descant recorder. That's a, that's an F. It's been a while since I played recorder. Um, but, and, and that would be a B flat on, um, the treble recorder. I think, um, uh, descant recorder. I think I'm right in saying, I really need to go back and play some recorder. <laughs> um, but I, I'm not quite sure what that fingering is. Um, if there's any recorder players out there or anybody that could shed a light on that, let me know. Maybe he's doing it. He could be doing it for a certain reason in that um, the recorder is a bit sharp or something. You, when you tend to put more fingers down, it, it flattens the sound. But um, I'm not sure. That just looked a little bit unusual to me, which is why I might have had a puzzled look on my face. But I certainly loved the use of the recorder there. Really wasn't expecting it and um, a really nice sound. The other thing that I'm thinking is if these songs have been recorded orchestrally, I'd be really interested to hear the orchestral versions now. I'm imagining lots of string layers and stuff. Uh, and maybe that line is played on the flute in the orchestral version. I don't know. Might have to go and listen. Or if you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's really gorgeous. And, and just great to see the recorder used more. I've had a recorder reaction on the channel already. And I'll put the link to that at the top if you want to um, to watch it. That was the Rolling Stones reaction. Um, but you you see recorders, don't you? Even less than you see flutes. So, so really cool. And um, yeah, let's see if there's any more.
Very cool, very cool. So um, we didn't get any more Descant Recorder. <laughs> as soon as the, the next section started, I thought, no, we're not going to get any more. But thoroughly enjoyed that. What a nice track. The second half, of course, was, was basically a reprise of the opening with with that lovely guitar solo in there. Really nice, really cool. So um, I certainly, certainly enjoyed listening to that. And and big thanks again to Flutiful fan Rupert for the uh, tip off of that one. As I say, if you've got any tracks you'd like me to react to, let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this, then do subscribe to the channel. Do give me a thumbs up. And of course, you're welcome to check out my other content. I've got a few more reactions and um, a lot Lots of flutiful covers for you to enjoy as well. So thanks again to, for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.